I was talking today with a friend of mine, James, I was saying, you know, when you go to see a dentist and somebody across the street is saying, hey, James, where do you go? And you're saying, oh, I'm going to see a dentist. But if you go to see a psychiatrist and somebody is asking across the street, would you guys shout, oh, I have mental problems. I go, you know. So you would probably whisper, we are here today to encourage you and to reveal to ourselves as well. There is no shame in that. There is no shame or embarrassment for any family being stigmatized to have such a kid. For that matter, United Nations Secretary General was really keen to send across the message because it says that over 280 million youth is affected by mental illness. But unfortunately, only 20% of youth is seeking or receiving help. So for that matter, a new, publica new publication from the United Nations uh, shows that 20% of the world, young people experience a mental health condition each year. Why the Secretary General of the United Nations is pointing this? Because, guys, youth is our future. Who is going to build Nigeria? Who is going to be a next uh, MD, next director, next minister, next president? You. So for that matter, it's important to know that United Nations Secretary General is saying that the risks are especially great as they transition from childhood to adulthood which is probably your stage, most of you in, in the room. Stigma and shame often compound the problem, preventing youth from seeking the support they need. For this year's observance of International Youth Day, the United Nations want to help lift the veil uh, that keeps young people locked in chamber of isolation and silence. The barriers can be overwhelming, particularly in countries where the issue of mental health is ignored and there is a lack of investment in mental health services. Too often, owing to neglect and irrational fear, persons with mental health conditions are marginalized, not only from having a role in the design and implementation of development policies and programs, but even from the basic care. So United Nations Secretary General continues in his message for International Youth Day. This leaves youth vulnerable to poverty, violence and social exclusion and has a negative impact on society as a whole. Let us remember that with understanding and assistance, these young people can flourish, making valuable contribution to our collective future. We have just 500 days to achieve Millennium Development Goals. We must support all young people, especially those who are vulnerable, to succeed in this historic campaign.